Hey guys, it's Mike here again with Viper Paranormal. It's come to my attention that there are some investigators out there that have digital voice recorders or analog voice recorders that don't have an, a USB jack. And they're wondering, how am I going to get my audio and EVP files over to my computer without a USB? Well, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that right now. In order to do this, you're going to need a few things. First off, you're going to need your recorder, your digital or analog that does not have a USB jack and no way to transfer those files. The second thing you're going to need is an eighth of an inch headphone jack. It's got the headphone jack on both ends. This is basically what the end of a set of headphones looks like. You plug it into the headphone jack, put the headphones on, eighth of an inch headphone jack with the uh, male end on both ends. Next thing you're going to need is a computer. Now any type will do, laptop, that's what we're going to be using for this demonstration, and you're going to need some software. And here in a minute I'm going to show you how to get that software and show you exactly how to do this. What we're going to do first is record a file that we're going to transfer over. So I'm going to press record. This is a tutorial video. I'm going to be transferring this over to my computer. Okay, I've got that recorded. The next thing we want to do is take our eighth of an inch headphone jack, we're going to find our headphone slot, and we're going to plug it in. Once we've done that, we're going to take the other end, and we're going to find our computer's microphone slot. And if it's, if it's on a desktop, it's probably on the back of your tower. But in this laptop, it's right here at the front. So we're going to plug this in right here. We're going to open up the software. And then I'm going to show you how this is going to work. Now, personally, I recommend using this over the USB because if you're recording in a WAV file format or something like that, then when you transfer like this, the file is going to be exactly like you recorded it. It's not going to compress your files like the MP3s do and you lose some of those audible frequencies which may contain your EVPs. Okay guys, the first thing we're going to do is download the software. Now the link in the description is going to take you to this page. You're going to scroll down to where it, you see it says download the free version here. Make sure to click this one because if you download this one it's going to be the master's version. It's only going to work for 15 days then you'll have to uninstall it and reinstall this one. So to save yourself time go ahead and click download the free version here it's going to bring this up and then you're going to click run and when you click run it's going to load that software up it's very very quick the next thing we want to do is open up our sound editor and this is wavepad sound editor now when you're reviewing your audio especially if you're doing this for paranormal investigation and EVP just go ahead and review the audio through the recorder itself when you think you've heard something write that time down and then what you can do is come back into the editing software and you know exactly where these points are so you're not wasting time loading the entire file on there and when we do this it's going to load this file just as it was recorded so it's going to be a big file but that's a good thing at this point you have your eighth of an inch headphone jack plugged into the headphone slot of your voice recorder and to the microphone input of your computer. Now we're going to go to the lower left hand corner and we see a button here that says record so we're going to click that. We're going to go up here, we're going to leave the sample rate just as it is, we're going to leave it in stereo, we're going to press OK. Now you've got your audio file queued up, you're going to press record and then you're going to press, press play on your recorder. So let's give that a shot. then you press stop. Now when you go to X out, you're going to notice that you have recorded a file. Now let's play it and see if it's what we wanted to record. And we've done it. Now yours is going to sound a little better than this because I'm recording this through my headset. So um, I I'm not doing an actual transfer here. I'm just doing this for the demonstration. But it's probably going to be a large file, but that's okay because when you're compressing your files, you're losing important frequencies, these inaudible frequencies, and those are generally where we capture our EVPs. So, large file is always a good thing. Okay, we're going to go up here to the upper left hand corner where you see file, click it. We're going to scroll down to save file as, and we're going to call this EVP test one and we're going to save that as a WAV file. Now we're going to press save and we're going to go right here, uh, leave it just as it is, PC, CM uncompressed, 44,000 hertz, 16 bits and you can actually change this to stereo if you want, really, it's totally up to you and you're going to click OK and your file is saved. Well there you have it. 
how to transfer audio from your voice recorder to your PC without the use of a USB cord. I want to thank you for watching our videos. Make sure to check out our website, www.viperparanormal.com. Please comment, rate, share these videos, and don't forget to subscribe.